price of fame cost too much. Like, you nigga talk too much. I'm ready for whatever. This body better tell me. Say I'm ready for whatever. Hey, hey, hey. Even though my head in the cloud, I'm planning on the pavement. Jesse, did you know I know you? Yeah, I know you. All right, guys. I got something I want you guys to check out real quick. Let me know what you guys think. Drop on your likes, comment, subscribe. You know, make sure you guys drop your opinions in my comment section. I want to know what you guys think about this. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to kick you this video as fast as I can. I ain't going to take up too much of you guys' time, man. But. <laughs> I want to make a note on this. Bryce Butler. Later, bro. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. All right. Nobody cares. Let me say it one more time. Nobody cares about where you went, about how you're trying to say, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. After you done ruined everybody, everybody in the whole team, and you went after Dez, you went after Dak, you went after Garrett, which is okay. But you went after Jones. You went after everybody. I've seen you drop a few passes, bro. That's all I'm saying. So, uh, needless to say, you didn't match Dez's numbers. Dez was down. So you ain't never going to be our top receiver. Ever. And uh, wherever you go, you ain't going to be our top receiver either, man. That's, uh, anyway, that's a discussion. We'll, we'll, we'll get into that later. Uh, but if you guys got any comments about that, go ahead and drop them in there, too. And if you like Bryce Butler, man, you need to go look in the mirror because that motherfucker was nothing but trouble. Excuse my language, but he was nothing but trouble, man. All he was doing was running his mouth, you know, complaining, complaining, complaining. I ain't getting no catches. I ain't getting no catches. I ain't getting no catches. Maybe because he wasn't good enough, bro. No Brown tops you times 10. So that being said, guys, uh, I'm going to kick you this little video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, but as always... Remember, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, hit up all my guys, man. Mark, Law, X Factor, you know, hit them all up. Cowboys 1980, you know, Locker Room Huddle. I want you guys to hit all them Bosch puts. All, go go subscribe, man. If you guys subscribe to me, you guys will love them, okay? And I'm trying to get as many people as I can. You know, I only got 12 now, but, you know, I'm trying to get up there. Uh, just keep coming, man. Keep coming. Show your friends. Tell your friends as friends. I mean, I'm trying to get the best content I can out there. I'm trying to get you guys the best updated videos I can. And, uh, you know, in this video right here, I'm going to go ahead and put up some Z. You know, a little bit of, a little touch of what, what, uh, I found a video of him anyway. Recent, very recent video. Uh, he's not in trouble. He's not in trouble. Uh, but <laughs> I got a, I got a wonder, man. What y'all think of that? What y'all think of that dance there? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what you kids is into nowadays, but man, y'all gotta have to elaborate what that is to me, alright? Because I'm a little old school, you know. I know all the old school moves, but what in the hell is that? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, uh, it's Groove on, man. That's it. I'm out. Peace. Everything about him is a star. Dez is just one of those guys that you just have to watch because if you turn your back or go to the bathroom, something great happens. Touchdown! That was a heck of a play. Dez is a beast. Uh, seriously, I mean, to me, he can't be covered. He's a combination of speed and physicalness. You're able to play basketball with a guy and go up over the top of your head. Now that's special. Only somebody whose hands are as strong as Des Bryant's catches that ball. Bryant up in the air. Caught it. Touchdown, Des. I, I remember this. <laughs> Philly likes to play zero or cover one in the red zone. Our coaches always tell the quarterback whenever Dez gets single is to always look his way in the huddle. Dez, he was big and Dak. Just throw it up, Dak. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Nothing bad's gonna happen. We all knew it was coming. The whole world knows when the ball's in the air. It's Dez Bryant's ball. It's so much fun to watch how competitive Dez Bryant is at the football. That is an unbelievable catch. Hey, he
What I like about Dez is he just seems to love football. Hey, we gonna put up 50. Hey, Dex, let's put up 50. It seems like all the time he's always chatting, chittering, he's always trying to be in your ear. Oh, no, 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 no. That's what's up. There's more to Des Bryant than acrobatic catches and trash talk. He also has a mind for the game. This play right here came from Des. We were sitting in meetings, and, and Des was like, uh, do you remember back in college when we used to run the double moves? Because we both came from the Big 12, and I was like, yeah. He was like, what if we did a dig and go? He brought the idea to Derek Dooley, and they saved it for his game. Uh, yeah, from the get-go, I mean, this is a situation that... We knew kind of what they were going to give us. We know Harrison's an aggressive safety and a really good safety, and we got Xavier Rhodes as well. And they're waiting for Dez to break in, and Dez does a good job of selling the route. He runs in and breaks down and makes them think that he's running inside. Harrison bites, and then at that moment, it's just a foot race. Dez go get the ball, and he does a good job, and that's when you see his speed. Just wish we would have scored. <sighs> he almost did. Jesse, did you know I know you? Yeah, I know you. 